It's that time again where I come your way with Pasco made easy with Senana. And we are going to consider core mathematics. We want to look at how we can solve some questions for what we are looking at algebraic expressions. So if you are also studying something on algebraic expression, this is the right video for you. It will help you to be able to revise. Remember to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then click on the notification bell so that you can get all the videos on time. Now let's consider the question. So the question says that we should simplify an expression. And the expression have a numerator 4 and a denominator x squared minus 4. Then minus an expression with numerator 1 and a denominator x squared minus 3x plus 2. So now let's consider how we can solve this question. So the expression given to us is an expression 4 all over x squared minus 4 minus 1 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Right. So when we look at the left hand side of the equation, we can rewrite it as 4 all over x squared minus 2 squared. 4 can be written as what? Well, minus 2 squared. Right. So when we see squared at both ends of a value, it means that we can express it as a difference of 2 squared. So you can write this as 4 all over x minus 2, s plus 2, right? And then on the other side, we can write this as 1 all over s squared minus 3x plus 2. It's a quadratic, right? Or it's a quadratic, basically. We can say that it is a quadratic. And quadratics, we can use the factoring method to be able to find the factors where we consider two numbers that when we multiply can give us the two here and then when we add will give us negative three and put them in the middle but in this case where they don't need you to go through the steps you can use the calculator once you use the calculator what you have to do is that you go to mode you have the 991 ex calculator go to mode go to five which is equations and then click on the two which is a quadratic equation and then the coefficient of the x square will be one so you point one in the calculator the coefficient of the x is minus three so you do that and the coefficient of the constants is two so you do that you realize that the values of x or the root of the equation for x would be x to be equal to two and then x to be equal to one so we can express that in factors as x minus two and then x minus one right because these ones we can write them as equal to zero so we can have x minus 1 to be equal to 0 and then x will be equal to 1 which is the answer you got from the calculator now you can also write it as x minus 2 to be equal to 0 and that will be x is equal to 2 which is the answer you got from the calculator so you've been able to write this in their factors right so that implies that we can have this side of the equation or the right side of the equation to be equal to minus 1 all over x minus 2 x minus 1 so now we have something that looks like a fraction it's already a fraction so we this is just like solving a question where we have 4 over 3 plus 3 over 2 what do we do we find the lcm of 3 and 2 and our lcm will be 6 then we look at dividing the 6 by the 3 which will give us a 2 then multiply by the 4 right which will give us our 8. Then we do same for this. Dividing the 6 by the 2, which will give us 3. Multiplying 3 by 3, which will give us 9. So whenever you have an expression and it's in terms of x or in terms of y, you must go by the same procedure, right? So what will be the LCM for x minus 2, s plus 2, and then x minus 1, right? So it will be the three of them. So we have x minus 2, x plus 2 and x minus 1 so we realize that this and this would, would, would cater for the x minus 2 x plus 2 so here we have 4 right multiplying the expression x minus 1 then we'll have the negative sign then here x minus 2 and x minus 1 so we have 1 multiplying the expression x plus 2 so once we get here we must just expand for the numerator part of the equation so that we imply that we have 4x minus 4 
minus x minus 2 all over x minus 2 s plus 2 and x minus 1 so here we know that we have 3x minus 6 right so 4x minus x will give us 3x minus 4 minus 2 will give us minus 6 all over x minus 2 s plus 2 and x minus 1 so we factorize 3 out so 3 we have x minus 2 because when we have 3 we have 3 multiplied by x giving us a 3x here, and then 3 multiplied by 2 or negative 2 which will give us a negative 6 here all over x minus 2 s plus 2 and x minus 1 so we can cancel out the x minus 2 then we have our final answer to be 3 all over x plus 2 and x minus 1 right so our answer for the simplification will be 3 all over x plus 2 x minus 1 remember to like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget that when you have questions on algebra all you need to do is to ensure that you simplify it as much as possible